Welcome to the UI or Campus Pulse. I'm Adam Azer with the Inside Pitch. It's our college baseball preview, and we're getting you ready for postseason baseball. So right now, let's head out west to discuss the Stanford Cardinal. We bring in Eric Adams, sports writer of the Stanford Daily. Eric, the anchor of this team, catcher Jason Castro, he was drafted by the Red Sox coming out of high school. You see any similarities there to Jason Veritek or any other major league catchers? Uh, yeah, I think Jason does a very good job behind the plate. I think he might, uh, at least for the Stanford team, have a little bit more threat offensively than Veritek brings to that Boston lineup. It's a very good lineup, and Veritek is a very good hitter, but he's not really the key part of that lineup, and Jason's really the cornerstone of this lineup. But when he's catching behind the plate, I think he's one of the best uh, catching catchers I've seen in the collegiate game. He manages his pitchers very well. There's a lot of young pitchers on the Stanford team, especially out of the bullpen, and he does a very good job calling the game and really calming these guys down in very tight situations. All right, tell me about Eric Davis. He was hit in the face by a line drive two summers ago while pitching in the Cape Cod League. What was that recovery like for him, and what kind of a pitcher has he been so far for the Cardinal this season? Well, the, the recovery for Davis there was actually relatively quick. He was back on the hill, I think, just two months uh, after getting hit by that, and he went underwent two or three surgeries, getting some plates put into his face just to repair uh, the front of his skull, and he's really been a battler ever since then. It took a lot of courage for him to be able to come back and get back on the hill after taking one like that, and last year he emerged to be one of the better pitchers in the Stanford rotation, and this year, uh, with Jeremy Bleich going down early for the Cardinal, he was supposed to be the Friday starter. He's really the only reason Stanford's where they are today. He's pitched consistently a lot of complete games, and really has been the, the driving force behind this team this year on the pitching side. So Sean Ratliff, he's been one of the top power hitters in the nation. What's the transition from the mound been like for him? Yeah, in high school he really was a two-way player all of the time, and then his freshman year at Stanford, uh, there really wasn't any opportunity for him to bat because the lineup was so established and he worked out of the bullpen. But after that, his bat was just too valuable uh, not to give up, and they didn't want to work him too much pitching after that because they wanted him to focus on his bat. And for him, it's really been easy. Again, in high school, he was an All-State player. He was the Gatorade Player of the Year. And then college, he didn't really bat at all freshman year. But since then, he's just been doing his thing and uh, really hasn't missed a beat despite not batting at all in his freshman season. Eric, what's a major weakness going into the postseason? Uh, the weakness for this team is going to be consistency from the pitching staff. They've hit well all year. Uh, sometimes they're going to get held to one or two runs, but usually this is a team that can put up five, six, even 10 or 12 runs in a game. And the problem they've had is depth in the pitching staff. Again, Davis has been very good. Jeffrey Inman, another young starter, has done a good job. And if Jeremy Bleich isn't around, they're going to struggle to find that third starter and also consistency from the bullpen. Again, they rely almost exclusively on freshmen out of the pen. They've got David Stringer, Max Fierno, Blake Hancock, also out there for upperclassmen. But a very uh, pen very full of young players, and these freshmen are going to have to get it done, and that's going to be the big question mark, I think. All right, Eric, thanks a lot. All right. Stanford has certainly played good competition, and on paper, the Cardinals certainly has the defense and the offense to make a deep run in the postseason. So thanks for watching, and that wraps up this UI or Campus Pulse.